Hey guys, it's Jack from Penguin Strings, and uh, today I'm going to be restringing my uh, Evo. Uh, pretty old stick head, actually. And uh, this is a hard mesh that I got from Dick's Sporting Goods. It came with two, uh, two uh, shooters and two nylons, and uh, a really long uh, sidewall. Uh, I used part of it for the top and I still have all this room left because I just just cut it so that's pretty cool and uh, what I'm going to do with it is a, uh, a high pocket well, I'm going to try at least I'm not the greatest at it but uh, it doesn't hurt to try um, it's Thanksgiving uh, so that's pretty cool I like I like all the food food food's good Food is good. My system. <laughs> um, just doing an interlock to improvise because the hole on top of here isn't big enough. It's just kind of stupid. It's an old head, so I don't know why it's like that. It might just be a a uh, a mis mismatch. So, kind of, kind of mad about that, but that's all right. That's all right. I'll make it work. Um, uh, if you uh, if you watch the uh, Trinity and Saint X game, uh, congratulations to Trinity being Saint X by a point. I don't know the score because I wasn't there. I was busy at Danes and um, trying to do the horse video. But uh, I had to leave early because uh, it's my dad's birthday, so I had to be there for him. Uh, he's pretty, pretty old, but he's in shape. It's like one of the CrossFit guys, if you know what CrossFit is. It's more of an athletic workout area. So, it's bad. Trying to do a knot here to improvise and do an interlock. There we go. Yeah. Alright. Knots pull down the mesh pretty tightly. I'm gonna retighten these when I'm done. So, you know, I'm gonna do a triple up. If you don't know how to do that, you can check some of our tutorials out. Uh, we also do a double up, singles, or one. Uh, how to do a knot, how to do an interlock, how to do a single interlock. So, you can check those out. I'm still trying to find a speed up app for the iPad so I can speed this up instead of talking to you guys boring you to death but you know some of you might like this this is uh... hard mesh is uh... pretty beneficial um, it holds its shape it doesn't move around a lot like the soft soft mesh but soft mesh also has its benefits which is cool I'm fine with that I'm just gonna finish this off right here so starting to get that high pocket Hard mesh also uh, takes a while to, f uh, to break in. Uh, uh, Dane has some East Coast mesh, and apparently, right when he strung it, he was able to shoot it and everything. He was already he was already good to go. So that's pretty cool. Gosh, all this string left. Dix really wants you to have a lot of string. Just look at that. Dang! Alright, so I'm just gonna do the same on the other side.
force. So, break this in. Get a ball. Yeah, it looks a little loose, so I'm gonna redo it. So, here's the pocket so far. Not bad, not bad. It's not terrible. It's not like a one of them pockets. It's creepy ones. Gosh, I got a lot of string. I might just string up a different head with this. That's how much I have. Alright guys, so I'm finished here with the uh, final piece. I just did a simple black and white with two nylons barreled, barrel rolled, and uh, uh, how to do that. I just looked up East Coast Dice and or some other people. Actually, I just looked up barrel rolled uh, nylons and I just looked up, I just looked at East Coast and he did a good job at it. So, here you go. Got shooters in there, four inches from the top of the head. I'm pretty sure. Uh, high pocket uh, can high pocket can shift to mid when I'm one handing it, so that's pretty good. Um, it's an RI channel, just strung it, so it's not in. But it's really hard to get a good channel with a high pocket. I find a, a good channel with a a mid most of the time. Um, got a new ball stop and uh, some bug and tar remover to move all that, all that yellow stuff off if you ever notice that. So that's gone. That's good. So yeah. And uh, I'm going to cut this down a little bit because I don't need all that flappy stuff. So um, a big mess of here from the nylons. Um, Still, holes are not big enough, so I had to like force them through basically. And that took a while, but I got it. I got it. Um, got this stuff from Dick's Sporting Goods, and uh, it is the package B Warrior. If you want to check that out, I mean, your Dick's might be a little bit different. Your Dick's Sporting Goods, so yeah. Just a regular top top string. Um, I might just keep it that way, or I might put a triangle top string on it. I don't know. You never know. But uh, bottom string, I weave through it. And uh, what I did here was uh, a interlock right here. See, these are the nylons right here. Uh, I did an interlock because. Uh, this hole's not big enough, which is stupid. Uh, skipped, skipped a hole, skipped that hole because this hole, this hole has a uh, nylon on it. Uh, then I have the knot, a knot. These are all very pulled very tightly, so get that channel. Uh, triple up, and tie that off. A single. This thing is covering it, but it's a single. Tie that off, and then I went over. And knotted all right so uh, there's a live stringing and point of view uh, you can check out our other videos on penguin strings uh, I don't know if Dane's gonna do a live video yet but this is my first one hope you liked it um, uh, subscribe to penguin strings for more, for more videos like comment um, yeah so there it is, Evo Pro, hard mesh, two nylons, and two uh, two shooters. All right, Penguin String signing out. Yeah.